Okay, so welcome to the screencast. Today I'm going to show the SpecMorph plugin I wrote. You can use it in sequencers, but here I'm just showing it as single plugin. I added a little reverb and a compressor to avoid clipping. So what can you do with a uh, spec morph? The simplest possible spec morph plan looks like this. Uh, we have here a trumpet. Spectmorph has analyzed trumpet samples in order to build this trumpet model. And there are a lot of other instruments here. And here's a friend of mine who is a singer. This alone would not be very interesting. We could do that by just playing the samples. But uh, these instruments provide you with a set of possible instruments to combine to new sounds. And we are going to listen to this slightly more complex setup where we have a slider to control and two instruments which will be combined. So here's the trumpet again. On this side it's violin. And we can smoothly transition of course it works with all the instruments that are listed here so here's a pan flute and for instance, uh, pan flute and um, saxophone. Um, often it's a good idea to use this unison effect. What this does is that it uses multiple voices which are slightly detuned and that gives you the illusion that we have more instruments of that kind. So we show it with um, the pan flute. And the saxophone. And violin. Another detuning based uh, modification we can do is uh, vibrato. Let's do it with um, string and uh, bass trombone. That doesn't sound very natural with trombone. Let's see the cello.
Yeah. Okay, another pitch modification is uh, portamento. Let's do that with bass trombone. One should probably say that um, portamento doesn't sound good if the interval you're using it with is large. It uh, sounds quite okay if you use small intervals. I mean, it still sounds like a trombone. Right. Uh, the last thing I, I briefly at least show is that each instrument um, has its natural start and then remains constant um, loudness. Sometimes you want it to be percussive or otherwise change that volume envelope and here we can do percussive doesn't sound like a natural cello or trombone but you can override the natural volume envelope using these settings. Just cuts a piece of the note at start and then use standard at its envelope. Okay. So there's two more things to show. One is you can do automatic automatic morphing back and forth. So if you were to do this, would get boring, but you can use a low frequency oscillator here and Okay, so of course um, we can use all the spectrum of instruments. And we can use the unison effect as before. And this setting is quite okay, like five voices and detune somewhere in here. And the very last uh, thing I'm going to show to you is the grid morphing. Uh, we have four instruments in the corners, saxophone, trumpet, flute, oops, sorry, flute, and Mirko again singing. And now you can Just move around. Still works with um, unison. Strange sizing. Strange. Uh, okay, unison. Whenever we had the possibility to control the morphing using sliders, we could, if we use the sequencer, use control signal one and two. And these provide automatable properties so you can 
um, control the morphing from outside. Uh, sequencer integration is beyond this video, but I wanted at least make this point that you can control it with the UI, but you can also control it from outside with a sequencer like Ardour, Qtractor, Beast, LMMS, Bitwig, whatever. Okay, so this was a quick screencast showing most of the possibilities and uh, thanks for watching this video.